From our studios in New York, here is Stone Phillips. On stage, he was the bumbling straight man for Cher. Off stage, he was anything but. A sharp businessman, a top draw as a public speaker, Sonny Bono was a pop star turned successful politician. There was even talk that the two-term California congressman might make a second run for the Senate. But all that ended on a late afternoon ski run in the Sierra Nevadas. Keith Morrison has the latest. And sometimes, because people can't let go of that past, uh, it, it stops them from moving forward and becoming what they should be in the future. He said one time, in that child's voice of his, with that self-deprecating twinkle, that being stuck in time was the biggest problem he ever had. And then finally, I just let it go, and I, I was fine after that. Most of what I am today, I owe to uh, <laughs> luck. He said the end of Sonny and Cher was almost the end of him. He had to escape his own past. He made a new life with a woman named Mary and two little children. He was just a junior congressman, a minor politician, really. And sometimes he knew people joked about him. Sonny Bono in Congress? But he wasn't stuck in time. We were, which is why this hit such a nerve. Congressman Sonny Bono uh, was fatally injured in a skiing accident. What happened here was big news everywhere, as if we knew him. Shortly after 4.30 yesterday afternoon, Heavenly received a missing person report. Yesterday, when the Heavenly Ski Resort closed and his wife Mary reported him missing, nobody seemed very worried, not at first. Even though Michael Kennedy had skied into a tree and died just days before, Everyone here knows it's a relatively safe sport. Last year, just 36 people died in skiing accidents, a tiny fraction of the number killed in bicycle accidents. Sonny Bono was an expert skier. He had gone off the trail for a run through the woods, but just starting down when he hit this tree. Today, the coroner said death was instantaneous. His death was caused by massive head injuries due to blunt trauma. In the shock that settled over this second skiing death, there was a flurry of new interest in helmets for skiers. Would that have saved either man? I wear a helmet because I've had a friend nearly die because of a head injury, very similar to what happened to Sonny Bono. Today in Washington, the flag over the U.S. Capitol building was drawn down to half-mast. For Sonny Bono, imagine that. He hustled his way into show business and brought a waif named Cher with him. But even then, 1965, the act was more her than him. They broke up in 1975, the year some people called the true end of the 60s. But she soared and he sank. That's when he got stuck in the past. When Sonny and Cher went down, uh, and then, then, then Cher was on the cover of Time, and and she, uh, her records were hit, and then she would get in the movie, and you're going, you know, I, I, am, I am part of that. He told me once a decade ago that for years it seemed everything good was lost, that his life was over. Such a tremendous loss. I lost a career, I lost a family, I lost being a father on the spot. So everything, every loss came all at once. And then somehow he got up again. For one thing, he married Mary. And then the singer, songwriter, a skinny kid from Sunset Strip, got into politics. It started out as a big joke. The comics had fun with this, about the flake who ran for mayor. It wasn't until he won that anybody watching could see how important it was, that this was the way he had saved his own life. I do solemnly swear I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. In 1994, he was elected to Congress, and once again, expectations were not that high. I, uh, but he had an easy way and a ready I, uh, humor. I, I am so pleased that we are all so dedicated uh, to mankind. Uh, unlike show business, where there you have egomaniacs, <laughs> and, and, and you have power mongers, and, and you have elitists. Of course, Sonny Bono never really let go of his past. Who would? But one thing, 
he wasn't stuck there. There ain't no way the mountain we can't climb. Though less than one visit in a million ends in a fatality, the Bono and Kennedy deaths have put a spotlight on ski safety. Here are some tips.